cheers at Buckingham Palace at the arrival of the official announcement of the royal baby. It was just quite an experience. American tourists caught up in the excitement as London welcomes a new heir to the British throne. This is the Bay Area's news station. Cron 4 News at 8 starts now. And you're looking at St. Mary's Hospital in London. This is where Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, is spending the night with her new baby boy. She is expected to be released within the next 12 hours or so, and that's when we might learn the name of the royal heir. Grant Lotus has been following this hoopla. He is here now with a look at what is really a very big deal for the British. Grant? Huge deal, Catherine. It's not every day Britain gets to heir to the throne. This headline is from 1948. It welcomed the arrival of Prince Charles and 34 years later in 1982, Diana, Princess of Wales, gave birth to William. Now it's 2013. William himself is a father. Charles is a grandfather with a new baby and this is a very select group of three. The first official word from a town crier outside St. Mary's Hospital where the Duchess of Cambridge gave birth at 424 this afternoon London time, 824 this morning here in the Bay Area. In keeping with royal tradition, the Queen's press secretary posted the royal birth announcement outside of Buckingham Palace. So excited about it. I had to come up for the day. It's that great. Is amazing. I'm so honored to partake in this. I remember watching um, Charles and Diana getting married as a teenager and now to see her son have a baby, it's magical. But now we're speculating boys' names, so maybe a James or an Alfred. The couple has not yet announced the child's name. Two years ago, the Commonwealth passed a law to make sure this baby will fall in the line of succession to the throne, regardless of gender. The baby boy will be third in line behind the Queen's son, Charles, and his son, William. The royal baby has already brought a retail regalia. One research company estimates retailers will sell well over $100 million worth of royal baby-related toys and souvenirs. And for folks who have kind of had enough of the royal baby, the British Guardian newspaper has an option. Up in this upper right-hand corner right here, there's a question. It asks, not a royalist? You just check it, and then all the coverage from the royal baby disappears from the website. Catherine. Well, the excitement over the royal baby extends across the pond here in the U.S. Today, the British Consul General in San Francisco talked to us again about why there is such a fuss. This was the first time that, um, whether it was a boy or a girl, the eldest in, would be the heir to the throne. Um, it happened to be a boy this time, but if it had been a girl, the girl would have also been the um, heir to the throne. And that's the third in line to the British throne. So you have Prince Charles, Prince William, and now the new baby, baby Cambridge. Stay with Cron4 as we continue to follow the latest developments in the baby news. And you can always find the latest information on our website at Cron4 and on our 24-7 channel on Comcast 193.